Our first award tonight is the Breakthrough Speaker of the Year Award. The idea is to recognise someone who's had recent extraordinary prominence and success. Nominees and awardees are individuals who have captured the attention and fascination of the marketplace. More than simply an overnight success or flavour of the month, the winning speaker may well have been speaking for an extended period of time, but has recently gained traction or achieved a breakthrough. Now, our 2019 Breakthrough Speaker of the Year is a storyteller. Their story is both unique and incredibly compelling. They have known what it is to have significant obstacles to overcome in life and have committed themselves to helping others to do the same. You'll notice there could be lots of people at this point. That's deliberate, plus it builds some tension, dramatic tension. They have worked with clients ranging from the Australian Psychological Association, RPA Hospital, the Department of Agriculture and Water Resources, and various high schools and colleges around the country. I love this bit. Having recently been named a Life Lion Ambassador, our 2019 winner is also a past Kerry Nan Scholarship winner. So not only has he been twice shot, he's also been twice awarded by PSA. So it gives me great pleasure to announce our breakthrough speaker for 2019 is Daryl Green. the Kerry Nan Scholarship for Public Speaking. And immediately after I went off stage, I picked up the telephone to call my mum and dad. Because after being shot on duty as a police officer, the ordeal that I actually went through after was so horrific, I simply would not be here without my parents. And so I was just elated. later to pick up the telephone and share some good news with my mum and dad. And with the scholarship comes a mentor. And my mentor is here tonight, Kevin Ryan. <laughs> Kevin quickly realised that in my keynotes I was packing in too many stories. I've been a police officer for nearly 30 years. I might have one or two stories. So he created Daryl's Hurt Locker. You will recall the 2008 award-winning film by that name. And the term means a deep, dark place where we put things that are really uncomfortable and really hurt us. But we use it in a much more jovial sense, just to put stories and details that was not necessary. And Kevin still comes over to my place to review my addresses for very important talks. And so he's become a, a, just a, an incredible friend. And so for the Lifeline event, I rang Dad, I said, Kevin's coming over, Dad's come down, he's made a home-cooked meal. They both sat on the couch and they uh, listened to me speak. And we opened up the Hurt Locker. So the crucifixion, I mean, critical review. <laughs> Saw a few items placed in there. We closed it up and all I needed to do was to rehearse. And it's always easy to do it with an audience. And so I say, hey, Dad, I'm practicing this afternoon. Would you pop down and sit on my couch? Sure, son. So I start my address and then, uh, son, didn't uh, Kevin say that piece of the story belonged in the Hurt Locker? Uh, yes, Dad. 
Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's right. right. And I would continue talking and then, son, 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 when you say the phrase splattered with blood, you are mumbling your words. Enunciate the word splattered. Jesus, taking a bit of notice. I would continue. Again, son, when you say the phrase, roll the clock back 19 years. Use large hand gestures and arm gestures. Remember, the bigger the audience, the bigger the gestures. Kevin, oh my goodness, you've turned my sweet 87-year-old father into my tough love speaking coach. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank Kevin. I would like to thank the mentors who informally and informally mentored me. I would like to thank you all, all PSA members, because it helped take a tragic event, turn it on its head, helped me create a speaking business and bring good news to my mum and dad, my, my late mum, uh, Eileen, who passed away in 2016, and many of the PSAs were there for that, and also assisted me and having the honour to become an ambassador for Lifeline and to share their oh-so-important message for those doing a tough and in crisis, the message of hope. I'm very proud of my son won this award. A speaker of the year, 2019. So this makes me very proud. Thanks for always being in my corner. I hope they'll continue to be in your corner for many years to come. That's what I hope. I'd love to see you really do well in speaking. You deserve it.